Today we are going to install a new Polini exhaust. Uh, earlier I have been running on this Zip Road 2. Uh, and I don't know if this will deliver more power and torque than this. I haven't got a clue. But, uh, but there are some couple of things that I think is better with this one. And that is that when you have this on, this sits just right by the rear wheel and a lot of uh, grease and dirt comes out and uh, you get a very dirty uh, rear wheel and since I have uh, mounted white wall tires I don't want a lot of dirt on them so this silencer will come further back so you won't get it on the tire and also this many of these exhausts have the silencer on the left side and this have it on the right side so it won't be in the way if you want to remove the rear wheel. So I think that's good. So we're going to mount this Polini exhaust today. And if you're having uh, like this one, Cipro 2, and you have the engine out, then I recommend that you put this in while you have the engine out, because to fit this with the engine in place is not fun at all. It's, it hasn't any good, uh, it doesn't fit very well, so uh, if you can put on the silencer with the engine out, it's good. But now we'll fit this one today. This exhaust has two fixing points, as this one and that one. And this one is the same as the original one, it goes in the engine <laughs> here. And this other one goes, I don't know if it's this one or that one, but one of these. So that's how we, we fit it. For this fitting you need to use the old original screw, you don't get a new one, so you have to have this one from the old one. But there's a nut inside here. So I have to start with removing this nut here because this fitting here will be in this place When you have these aluminium rims, you have to get the air out of the tire to get this screw in place, otherwise you won't get it in. So you have to take all the air out and then you can push it in. I don't know how it is when you have the original rims, I think they are a bit not as thick as these, so it might work. But if you have these, you have to take the air out and then get this one in. So this didn't fit very well either, I had to modify it. In here is usually this nut that sits here and then you have the screw from the other side here. But this started to go around inside this, so I take that off. As you can see I had to do the same thing to the old exhaust because it, it's so hard to fit. So now I have to have the nut loose here. So this is how it came out. And it was not very easy to fit, just like the other one. It's very hard to fit. As I showed you, I had to remove this from the other exhaust here. And then you can put, let's see if you can see. Then you can take a nut in this way. It's a bit tight, but it works. And then it was much more easy. So, I have to listen another day because I can start it right now. I have some job to do before that. So, we'll see in another episode how it sounds. 